I built the smallest base in Rust with a built-in secret bunker. See, these big bases are cool and all with their compounds, open cores and ample storage space for more than two boxes, but in a tiny base, that's where it's really at. With great features such as not enough headroom and almost enough space for one furnace. You should really ditch that big base and probably your friends because they're not going to fit in there and build yourself a tiny base. But seriously, with a snug and cool aesthetic and the ability to add really cool extras like a shooting floor and an oil refinery, this base design really is top notch for solo players but when you build something this cool, you're bound to make some enemies. But we'll get to all of that, so buckle up as I prepare to show you why being small is actually a good thing. <laughs> Alright, we back. Thank you future Ben for that lovely intro. Yeah, the idea is today to build ourselves a nice little tiny solo base and this map's looking pretty cool. This I actually played this last wipe, uh, so I've got a bunch of BPs and stuff. So I thought I'd hop back in as it's wiped and see what we can do. That's right, I did in fact just dive straight in here and things kick off pretty much sooner than I thought they would. As I'm gathering up a bow here, or at least trying to because there's seemingly no cloth on this server, I keep running into interesting little events. Things that if I had a bow, I could really take advantage of. That's all twig as well. What the freak? I love the twig on this server. Not one piece of cloth on this whole server, man. Come on. Come on, this is a time-sensitive operation. See, at the start there, I just ran past multiple roofs made of twig. If I had a bow, I could shoot my way into them and hopefully go deep and get all of the loot that these people have and I get a really good fast start. But the server was preventing me from doing that because there was just no cloth anywhere. Oh, they've upgraded it, man. Game over, man. Game over. For there to be zero cloth. Are you kidding me? Who's doing a fucking flame raid right there? Just give me one cloth for the love of fuck! Jesus Christ! Right, I, I overreacted. I'm overreacting. I'm sorry, Rust. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell at you like that. Okay. I then met a rather uncooperative man on top of the gas station. That way, uh, one 105 degrees that way. There's a guy doing a flame raid on a roof. You should totally go kill him, and I could help if you'd like. He didn't want to play ball, but that's fine. At least I didn't die. <laughs> that's a twig roof right there! What is <laughs> There's so many twig roofs, I might be sick, and I just need five cloth. Am I just not- <gasps> I see one! I see one and it's right there! Oh, I've never been happier. This is where I instantly get a headshot. Oh my god, I did the maths wrong. I need another five. <laughs> I finally got the cloth I needed and got a bow together and not a moment too soon because running back to the gas station I was just at, I heard the very same dude I was talking to firing some shots. That was that dude I was talking to earlier and he's coming this way. If I can kill him, I could use the Revy to counter that raid. And I missed. Well, that's <laughs> probably a good night for me. Okay, I'm the worst to ever do it. We got him. Okay, and he's kind of loaded. <laughs> Sweet. I am going to use this revolver. I'm going to head to that flame raid I just saw. Because with any luck, he's still there. And with any more luck, we can, uh, we can snowball pretty quick here. Yeah. Oh, shit. Perfect timing. This guy was running back to the same direction as where the flame wave was. With any luck, this was him, and I could get a jump on him. He's going to finish that raid. We have a mag and a half. Is he about to find out he doesn't know enough? Shit, 
That was smart of him. See, my hope here was he was going to be making enough noise that I could get up unaware and he would not know I was there. But sadly, he had done the smart thing and placed himself a little floor that I would then have to break and he would know that was right above him. A risk I'd have to take. Don't go down. Oh, it's a metal door. Okay. P250. That's an upgrade. That is an upgrade. We take those. And this guy has a backpack, which is huge. Uh, gonna have to use this med. And there's people coming. Very good. Just in time for me to be bleeding. <laughs> oh, man. I lose all of this now. I'm gonna cry. Sure. Get the fuck out of here. He's right there. Now, how he isn't dead. Under cover of my own shots, I made a break for it. Got out of there and decided I'd slap a little base down right here so I could go back and hopefully try and clear up some more loot. Right. Let's go see if homie is still here. Is that a backwards wall? Now I went back and he was not there. He did not return and I couldn't find him. So I decided to take a break whilst it was night time and then decided I would go for a roam and find somewhere a bit more suitable for my permanent base location because where I currently was, there was nothing around. And on my first little roam out, I ran into some little baby children. I have also heard like a bunch of raids this way. And obviously Heli just got taken down kind of this way, kind of very loosely this way. Fuck, is he like five years old? This is where all the cloth was! The fuck? Oh my god, okay. Little tip, if you come to a hill like this and you can't climb up like the middle part, always go to the side and jump up like next to the rock. It'll give you a platform to jump on. I'm getting a funny feeling today, a real funny feeling that I'm gonna end up going deep on a base and just taking it all, you know? After once again foreshadowing myself, I arrived at what I thought was a great little build location right next to harbour and fishing village, and there was a bunch of bases around here. So I stashed my goodies in a stash, story checks out, and I decided to take a little bit more of a look around before laying down some permanent routes. Low, 
Here you meet the first influential group of my wife. This is one of the reasons I decided to stick around this area because I thought I might be able to milk them for some more loot. And the fact that they just gave me around 5k wood means I could go ahead and put down the beginnings of my new base. So that is exactly what I did. And in the midst of farming some stone to get said base down, I ran into a couple of chum dogs. I'm out of arrows. Holy moly, to a just scrap. <laughs> That's huge. I don't really need scrap on this server other than to just make a tier 2 and a tier 3, so... That is big. Let's get this home and, uh... Make my home. And, yeah. Let's keep going. So, I had put down foundations with the wood that I had got from those dudes. It's a really simple design. It's just... A square foundation with triangle foundations all the way around and on the bottom you raise it up with half walls so you can have a little crawl space underneath. Super cool, super fun, super cozy, super small. There we go! <laughs> I love these kinds of bases man. That's, that's so my jam. Uh, this is gonna have to be a hobo barrel place, otherwise I'm not gonna have space. I wonder if that fits. Alright, here we go, let's see. Oh my god! <laughs> it fits! That's kind of insane, guys. I don't think you understand. That's cracked. This is gonna be crazy good storage down here. Like, the last time I did this build, it, there wasn't too much space down here. Look how good that is. Yeah, normal boxes, thing of the past. I'm not going to use them. Don't even need them. Chuffed to bits with something that had been in the game for months now. I then killed myself and respawned back at the one by one I'd made after I had counter raided that guy at the beginning of the video. I grabbed all the stuff and I ran it home pretty much no problems because it was night time and no one goes out of their base in night time. And to be honest, no one goes out of their base in daytime anymore in Rust. This game is broken. Please, please help. I then took my double barrel and went back to check on my neighbours. I'm friendly. And after a light spot of door camping and a failed attempt to go deep, I took what a little I got from that and took it home. And realised I was very close to making a tier 2 workbench and this is very big because I, like I said, have BPs on this server and thus have molotovs which this early on in the wipe are crazy OP because a lot of people just have a wooden door. So off out I went once again to see if my neighbours were active, see if I can go deep again and to keep in the back of my mind that I'd like to find a raid possible with some molotovs. Guys, I actually saw this base a while ago. I thought they might have upgraded by now, but no. This is like a wood, fully wood base with no front door, I think no roof, and he's active, he's online, like he's running back and forth from it. So this might actually be the perfect thing to Molotov. I will uh, take a closer inspection. So you can see this twig on the side and stuff, like, he is here. I've seen him running back and forth from here. And he's been making noise. Uh, that is a metal door on the front. That's a shame. But I like it. I'm pretty sure there's no roof. Like, no roof section. It's not blocked off up there. Because it's all twig. So, let's have a look. Oh my god, huge! Wooden wall there, and all totally wooden floors, uh, ceilings. So if we have a little peek through here, that I think is TC, that's a research table. Yeah, TC's locked. Uh, I'm not seeing many boxes, but, I mean, this is this definitely worth it. He's online, so a little online Molotov raid would be super fun. So my goal set out, I knew exactly what I needed to do, which was get my tier 2 down and get Molotovs cooking. But on my way home, <laughs> I saw this little dude again, and he's the same guy that I killed from earlier, who lives in the base 
right next to mine. It's the same dude from earlier, bless him. I killed him once before. He's gotta live around here. Okay, we can do it. Now I just need to get another one of those down once I do this. Shit out of the wood. Now, whilst I was mentally ready for this Molotov raid, I wasn't physically ready. I had a few things I needed to do. I need to head to harbor. I needed to recycle my recyclables in the recycler. <laughs> I needed to plonk some oil refinery juice in an oil refinery to get the resources needed to make the Molotovs. I needed to head back to the oil refinery once that had finished smelting. I needed to kill any pigs that crossed my path on the way there or from. And I need to head home, craft said Molotovs, head over to the raid, throw the Molotovs down, and reap all the rewards. Now, unfortunately, this guy was neither here nor very loaded. But this was a fun little Molotov raid to wet my whistle either way. And from now on, this server was about to get a lot more busy because it was becoming peak times, everyone else was logging in. So my area was about to turn into a bloodbath. Oh. Okay. An okay resource bump. So when I got home, I plonked down another amazing barrel that fits perfectly in my secret bunker in my tiny base. I went out to do some farming and ended up doing some killing. I started the first expansion on my base, which was to add an oil refinery, which I love because of Molotovs. I then killed another guy who had a hollow site. Come on, man, I got none. Are you running then, huh? Bruh, because I've just got to start. I just started, bruh. Come on, you already got shit. Dude, come on. Pick me up at least, bruh. And then I ran into two guys recycling at harbor. Ow. That really hurt. Then, with more and more people logging on, my next room turned into quite the bloodbath. Oh, fuck me, he's in there. That scared the living hell out of me. Got a backpack. Brilliant. That was a good little room, considering it was uh, cut short. Cut short, yes, but for a good reason. I had spotted a guy that was online who had a wood front door, and most likely a wood door right behind that. So, to get my oil refinery down to be able to do this raid easily, I headed down to harbour for a quick recycle to get a quick bit of metal. But upon my return to my humble abode, there was a little man right outside.
Why are you coming to door camp here? What's that about? I'll put you back. A very strange thing, because that guy was clearly coming to door camp me, but luckily for me, he didn't find the things I threw in the ocean, so I didn't lose very much. Only gained one teabagging enemy. I will address that later in the video. But for now, I would get my oil refinery down, I would smelt up all the crude that I had, and I would head over to do that online raid. Alright, we're in. I don't know where this guy went, he was literally here like 10 minutes ago. Locked TC. Decent, another hollow site, okay. Decent amount of stuff, decent. Hey bro, he just give you that he's out here to get it. Oh, he's here. You're not shutting the door on me, buddy. Blue card, that's nice. Let's hope this is loaded. Oh, 300 scrap, that's nice. We made back the logo that we spent. Not much metal though, I really, I'm down bad on metal at the moment, but hey. A nice little kind of online raid. On to the next. That was a nice fun little day. Things were winding down and it was getting late for me. So I decided to do a little bit of base upgrading as I wanted to add a shooting floor in the future. So I jackhammered out a wall and then I got to building an upper door exit for the roof. And then I logged off, hopeful for the next day and what it might bring. All right. Have a go on this then. Day two, we are indeed safe. Now this morning got off to a slow start, so I decided to use the time wisely and do my electricals to make an auto smelter because I was really down bad on metal and I just hate farming wood. So once I did that, I didn't really have high hopes for this morning, but what was about to unfold was all out war in my neighborhood. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I just went and did a half hour swim. <laughs> And I've come back to this. That's lovely, that is. Let's see what this guy's doing. Hey, bro. Hey. What the fuck? After that lovely worded confirmation that my neighbors are once again online, I decided to once again try and go deep on them. And this is where the weirdest war in Rust began. So this guy... <laughs> He's now killing me with the bow and he's gonna kill me. I've got my jackhammer. Oh man. I thought we were friends, guy. Maybe he's with them. I know there's two guys in there from yesterday, but maybe he's the third? I just don't know. I'm coming back with a. I'm making myself a sign. I'm coming back here. Who the hell is this guy? Door camping me. I don't think I've seen this guy before. Freaking door camping me. Is that my- that's my stuff! <laughs> so he isn't with them. Or if he is, he's an idiot. I'm going back. Now, I know I'm being a bit grubby here by door camping them a lot, but honestly, I just really wanted to go deep on someone this wipe. Don't know why, but I kept persisting at them. And to be quite honest, they were really rude to me earlier. And I said this was the weirdest war of all time. And it's about to get super weird. As whilst I was trying to go deep here, some dude was just camping right behind me with a bow. I didn't know who this was at the time, but I was really, really soon about to find out. Kind of. Who the frick was that dude behind me, man? This is so weird. Like, he was door camping them whilst I was also door camping them. And he was just waiting for his perfect opportunity. I will stop door camping them soon. I, I do have plans to just raid them, to be quite honest. So Zhang Nan, Zhang Nan, the sad guy. So he clearly lives here, he just ran out. Who's the guy behind me? Oh, he's still there. <laughs> what is going on, bruh? 
Uh, so it looks like this guy wants to try and go deep on these guys as much as me. I think he's dead. Oh, he ran away. Oh, he's back outside. Ow. Do you want to die, bruh? Thank you. This is weird, man. What's your name? Cheng Zhuang. Cheng I can't say these names. I'm probably butchering them. And then Chinese lettering or Asian lettering. This is real weird, bruh. I'm going home, but I'm coming back. As of right now, I pretty much determined that my neighbors were really just too poor for me to consider doing a raid on. And that's when I heard the saw shots that you're hearing now. This pretty much led me to decide that I wanted to track down the group of people who were using these SARS and online raid them instead, because my neighbours, as you saw, I was just draining of revolver kits and M92s. I wanted something more profitable. So these guys were now on my radar. It was just a case of finding them. And getting enough sulfur and a tier 3 up to do the raid in C4, because I really didn't want to do an online raid versus what is probably three people. With satchels, it's just not very viable. So I got to farming and got started my effort to try and get myself to tier 3 and to make C4s. And whilst out on a small recycle run, I made an interesting discovery that would lead me to some more evidence in my fight to find the people I wanted to raid. Oh, that's Chinese letter guy. Who's this? Oh, it's Hana. Okay, so these are definitely my two names. And they have a semi? I think my takeaway here is they are down tremendous. One guy had like a bow and they're wearing like crappy gear sets. Definitely not worth the raid on them. So I definitely want to find that other group and online raid them. And as strange as the situation was earlier, it was only about to get even weirder. hell is going on here? I just killed my neighbours. So they're not in there. But there's a new front door on. My guess is these guys have gone deep on my neighbours. The other guys that were fighting with the SARS have gone deep on the neighbours. And now they got TC somehow before they got the rest of the loot. And now they're raiding it from the inside. This is the weirdest, the weirdest collection of events. Oh, and it's decaying. This is the weirdest collection of events I've ever seen surrounding one base. See, this is new. This whole bit here. This has to be the other group that I want to raid in there right now. Very interesting. Let's wait and see if they come out. That guy is a bot, and so am I. Who's this guy? Ah, it's a name I can't pronounce, but that looks Russian to me. Not seen that name before, so that pretty much confirms to me that this guy is with that other mysterious group that I don't know where they live that have SARS and are worth raiding. Good. I need to now focus my time and efforts on uh, one, keeping off their radar, and two, finding out where the hell they live so I can raid them. Well, the staying off their radar part did not last long because they came back out of the base and were fighting some bow guys and I decided to get involved and that's when the dude with the SAR who was inside the base came out and just destroyed me good news here is I managed to get some info on who this guy actually was and his name was 739 another name that I had never seen before but knew he had SARS and knew he was very local to my area so my idea was to find out where the Russian guy with the Russian name is and where 739 lives so I could take C4 with my newly acquired tier 3 workbench and go and online raid them and then pretty much have control of my area that was the plan and that is what I set up to do That is the neighbor. I'm so confused. I'm certain that guy is my neighbor, but I don't know what the fuck is going on. I want to know where the SAR guys live. 
So in my war effort to get information, I went home and de-geared and went out to hit the roads to see if I could find these guys who were active and I thought were in my local area. My thinking here was, if they're active and around, they might be out farming or hitting the roads or doing whatever people do in Rust. Well, I need tech trash, and there's a dude right here farming. This could be one of them. This is like right down the road from my base. He looks naked. Could be doing what I'm doing. Oh, he's got an M92. And now he's dead. See any teammates? Give me that M92, buddy. Oh, never mind. That's teammate. And you're dead. Chinese lettuce. That's my neighbor. That's my neighbor that got raided. This is not the guy I'm looking for. At least I don't think. Who are you? Yeah. Okay. So these are my neighbors. This is not them. Good to know, though. The fuck? How many? How many? Changnan, three. So they are my neighbors. I thought. I I'm so confused, bro. Couldn't see him. Apparently, he could see me. Makes sense. Rating. Who are you? Oh. In the base. Finally found out where you live. 654, same guys. Where's this raid? Boom! 654. Not a big leap to assume the other guy with numbers that I saw earlier was part of this guy's group. These were the guys that I were looking for. Not the neighbors that I kept constantly running into and were getting very confused by because they just seemed to have infinite bases or whatever, or not being phased by being raided. But no, these were the group that I want to online raid. I had found them, or at least I had found the general vicinity in which they lived. I needed to do a bit of recon and figure out which base exactly it was before I headed over with C4 to raid them. But these guys were being equally as weird as the other group because they were just lingering about in the area that I died for well over 15 to 20 minutes. Don't know why, this was definitely them, but I just could not seem to spot them going in or out of a base here. I didn't really know what was going on. That was until this fateful moment. All right, I'm just gonna cook up explosives in anticipation, but I do still need tech trash, I've got none. But I need to head back out and see if I can find where these guys live, like, because I wanna get this raid done and dusted. I, I wanna online raid someone, I'm itching. Then whilst out looking for tech trash, I got destroyed by 694 once again. This was a long time after that fight had died down. I definitely knew they were local now. I just need to find their base. Fuck, he lives there. Yes, we got him. They live right there in a little two by two made of stone. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure they don't even have an airlock on that thing. It's just front door and then you're in. Oh my God, I need to go have a look. Let's see. One door, one door behind. That's loot. And then one just sheet door to the TC. No freaking way, dude. Oh my god, I've wanted to raid these guys so bad. I know exactly where they live. Right, I need to get some tech trash. So I'm going to hope I can get some by doing the uh, mission from the farm. And then I'm coming to raid these guys like as soon as possible. And that is what I did. I went and I paid for the mission. I got to the mission and BAM! Exactly what I needed. In fact, too much. I got like 10 tech trash from this thing, which is crazy because that is literally the only thing that I needed from this case. That is the exact thing that I needed from that. That is huge. Right, I'm 25 HP. 
I need to get home before dark because I want to do this raid at night. Alright, I made it back. I've pretty much crafted everything up here. Uh, I just had to quickly run to harbor to recycle some little bits. Um, but I've got a C4 crafted. I've crafted myself an AK as well. I'm gonna make some bullets. I've made night vision so I can go and do it at night because I want to catch them off guard. This is it. This is the raid. This is the raid I've wanted to do for a while. These guys took my semi-rifle. You might be thinking, Keyworth, they must have taken so much from me. You must hate them so much. You're right, but you're wrong. They've taken one star from me. And I've just, I've ran with it. I've really held a grudge on this one, but screw them. Screw them, I want it back. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take all this with me. And, uh, let's go do this thing. Alright, here goes nothing. I'm doing this at night so I can catch them off guard. I know they're in there. I know they're online. Um, so my plan is to just blow the door off and just start blasting, pretty much, with them, like, absolutely not aware that I'm coming in. But, yeah, let's get this done. Did it? You fucking did it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What is this? <laughs> what is this base, bruh? This base doesn't make any sense to me, man. This has to be like a. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh! Come on! Hello? Why can't I place that? That's my kit! <laughs> Revenge is good. Revenge is sweet. Looks like we caught him off guard. Which is nice. Where are the sleeping bags, bro? Like, this is what I mean. This base makes zero sense. Well, that was that. I made a good bit of profit here with sulfur, but the only thing connecting these guys to this base was the fact that they had my saw, this one that I was holding in my hands right now. So, they weren't in here, sadly. They are online, but I didn't get to shoot them in the head with the extra satisfaction. Like I was saying, this base is pretty weird. There wasn't any sleeping bags or anything in here. I didn't really understand what was going on. But hey, I had won. So, I ran all this stuff home once it had cooled off outside. And then, I pretty much just started smelting it all. Smelting it because now I had a good amount. There was one guy on my hit list that I really was holding a grudge against. And his name was Domino. And you might not remember, but he door camped me a while back. And then... Then he teabagged me, and this really sat with me. And I know exactly where he lived. He lived right here, just around the bay from my house. And now I had the means in which to raid him. But it was getting late for me, so I decided it was time to log off, and I was going to do this in the morning, and get my sweet, sweet revenge on Domino, and teabag him in his own base while I take all of his loot. Oh god, I want to do this now, but I am so tired. I've literally been playing for like... I don't even know how long, but it's real late here. But this is Domino's base. And uh, I've got the sulfur to do it, but uh, I haven't got the willpower to do it right now. I'll see you in the morning, Domino. Well, I saw it on my phone, and I was really sad. I won't lie. Yeah, really sad I was past Ben, and I'm still sad now. I was all teed up to get the perfect revenge on Domino, as well as the other guys, for teabagging me. But sadly, someone beat me to the jump, raided me, and took everything. But that's just the way it goes sometimes on Rust. Thank you so much for watching, guys. New video next week. Take it easy. Peace. I've been searching in the dark, trusting every clue I've found. But 
But the truth has not been told Cause every corner of these woods 